today and which will run from 7th of September to 7th of October 2020. This particular workshop we are conducting under capacity building and research entrepreneurial center in artificial intelligence, big data and IoT for SCST project team. And it is this project is sanctioned by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, METI, Government of India, R&D, NCC, NT, and Punjab University, Chandigarh. A developing nation always leads by its youth, especially by the skilled youth. So we wish that this workshop will help all the participants to enhance their skills and so that they can contribute in the nation growth. Let's pray to mother of all skills, Mata Saraswati, to grow our knowledge and skill us with this prathna. Dr. Nitin, could you help me? Yes, sir. Please. Wait, sir. Yeah. Yes, let's start. Yeah. Ya kundendu tushar haar Ya shudya vastamruta Ya vina varatand mandit kara Ya shvet padmasana Ya brahman chut shankara prabhuti bhir Daivahi sada vakita Samam patu saraswati bhagavati Nishes dada paha May Goddess Saraswati blessings uh, on us and so that this workshop will get success and more and more participants get enlightened with uh, that uh, energy. Now I would like to invite uh, Dr. Mukesh for a brief note on the project and workshop. Okay. Uh, so uh, thank you very much, Dr. Amit. Uh, so first of all, as the principal investigator for the project, let me introduce uh, to the theme of the project. So this is uh, the project uh, named as Capacity Building and uh, Research Entrepreneurship Center and Artificial Intelligence, Big Data and Internet of Things, sanctioned to Punjab University by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. The main aim of this project is to empower, is to upgrade the knowledge, is to upskill the youth in these three fields, that is AI, Big Data and Internet of Things, by conducting these kind of workshops time to time and to engage the participants in research activities so that uh, they will lead to their own startup, so that they will lead uh, to think in, in terms of new innovation so that they may uh, contribute better uh, in uh, the specific industry. Um, so this center is targeting uh, the youth in two directions. One is the upskillment in the latest of the technology. Second is the research entrepreneurship, making them innovative enough, making them the techniques learned to apply for the benefit of society. So this is the overall of overall aim of this center. And uh, uh, one more thing to share is that this is the third continuous activity being conducted under this center. The first activity was named as the one month online course uh, on programming in Python. It was conducted from 1st of June to 30th of June. The second activity that is parallelly going uh, within our center is uh, a webinar series on skills and development. And this is the third one, which is just can be considered as a sequel of our uh, this programming with Python. This, uh, we are that workshop ended. Now we are going to begin from that end, which we are going to apply the Python techniques, Python learnings from that workshop to take it to the machine learning and artificial intelligence. So I welcome you all, and I hope that you all will be gaining a lot from this uh, course, from this workshop, and we all are here only to just help you out, just feel free to share your problems, we definitely will try to solve them. So, once again, I welcome you all, thank you very much. Dr. Amit, up to you.
Thank you, Dr. Mukesh. Uh, now, before inviting our chief guest, uh, to Dr. Uh, Professor Simpan Nair, let me introduce him in brief. Presently, Professor Nair is working as a director in Thapar Business School of Management and Thapar School of Liberal Arts and Science, Thapar School of Engineering Technology, University of Patiala. Professor Padmanabha did his uh, doctoral in Hindi from University of Tokyo, Japan. He is also PhD from Twente University, Netherlands. He did his MBA from Great Ward University, UK. He is from any known education institute like University of Texas, Dallas, USA, Twente University, Netherlands, and University of Tokyo, Japan. He is a great professor, administrator, entrepreneurial coach, business strategist, and a researcher. He is uh, he's passionate about helping, building and lead sustainable business and innovative entrepreneurial venture. Before all that, he is a great human being. He is a true source of positivity and humbleness. Now I would like to invite Professor Nair to enlighten the audience. Professor Nair, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Mukesh Kumar Rai. Uh, thank you, uh, Amit. Uh, you know, I'm definitely not an expert in uh, uh, these areas of uh, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning. So I don't know uh, how much uh, uh, my thoughts on these areas would be would be useful. But I, I, I want to start uh, with uh, reminding all our young participants one very important thing. That is, our country is probably one of the oldest and youngest country today. Oldest with respect to our tradition, our culture, our philosophy, and everything uh, humiliatively we know as a collective, as a nation youngest because probably we have absolutely the largest number of young people willing to learn and change the world so we are we are oldest with respect to the accumulated wisdom we are youngest with respect to number of young people willing to learn and uh, passionate about uh, doing wonderful things for for the country, for themselves, and for the world. So here is a great opportunity as a nation, not only as individuals, to, to, to do something useful for humanity. The key word is humanity. You can be an Indian, you can be a young person, you can be a son, you can be a daughter, you can be a, a Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Sikh, Jain, but the larger collective, the larger religion for all of us, for ultimate peace, is humanity. So, as a nation, as a group of young people, as, uh, you, you know, uh, the largest collection of young people, I think uh, we can do wonderful things for the world and for ourselves. Now, thinking about uh, AI and machine learning, world is changing. And world has been changing all the time. You know, we change, our, our, our bodies change, things around us change, but it is also our duty to passionately make sure that this change is good for all of us and for humanity. And again, when we talk about change in general, I would like to talk about uh, the change in particular in the area of future careers. The nature of jobs are going to be different. Whether I like it or whether you like it or not, the nature of jobs are going to be different. So I have a very inexpensive, cheap smartwatch. Relatively cheap. But the most interesting thing about this smartwatch is, of course, it counts uh, step. It has some motivational aspect to me getting up and walking around. That's, that's great. 
But the most important point about this is, this is also measuring my heart rate. So it kinds of maps my behavior and also the key indicator of uh, my healthy being. So why am I talking about this smartwatch? Think about your last doctor's visit. Typically, we go to a doctor and spend about on an average 15 to 20 minutes with the doctor because most of our doctor's visits are not for very serious illness. 95% of them are because you have a throat pain, you have a cold, you have a flu. Doctor would look at your throat, you know, feel your chest, look at your eyes, ears, and spend about 15 to 20 minutes and tell you what to do. You go and take rest, take, take antibiotics, or some simple advice. But now think about how much a smart algorithm collecting this data of your heart rate, your activity, and everything. So I know it immediately. My resting heart rate is always less than 60. Anything wrong with me, heart rate will shoot up to 70 or 80. And this is not just one number. This is also, these machines are collecting millions and millions of data points. We may not understand the science behind heart rate versus some other parameters of well-being. Because we are in the regime of big data, there are smart correlations. In olden times, we used to talk about uh, causation, uh, correlation without causation is not useful. But today we know we may not be able to find the science or the cause behind this correlation, but this correlation is consistent. You may be able to do a lot of useful things. For example, you can measure your lung capacity from your heart rate. If you, if you really look at it, that, uh, that correlation is very tricky, but we are dealing with the millions of data points that the relationship is consistent. Anyway, so what is happening? Machines are slowly replacing typical jobs, even the job of a physician, a doctor. So that shows that many, many traditional jobs are going to go out of business. As young people, you are going to take all those new jobs which are going to be created and which are being created. So please don't worry about the fact that the old jobs are being replaced. Old jobs are being replaced, old people are being replaced. Everything of the world is changing and let's make the best use of that change. And also let's be the, the nuclei, the engine for change. And that is what young people are supposed to do. And now, what kinds of jobs are going to stay? The ones which 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 uh, requires very uh, complex, nuanced cognitive skills and also supported by machine learning and uh, neural networks and uh, deep learning. Those kinds of jobs are going to be there. And all of us need not be a PhD. At every level, we can find meaningful work at every level. And uh, the effort by Dr. Mukesh and uh, Amit and others is, is highly commendable. And I'm very, very happy that uh, I could talk to young people. I know this is just a monologue, but uh, I want to, I want to uh, conclude uh, my little uh, speech by telling, it is your humility, it is your openness, it is your empathy, it is your, uh, your uh, passion for doing something for humanity. That is what is going to, to make that positive difference, not only for others, also for you. So I wish uh, all the success for, uh, for this, uh, this effort of uh, educating uh, the young India.
I'm, I'm so happy that uh, I could be part of uh, this great, uh, great beginning. Thank you all and all the best and Jai Hind. Thank you so much, sir. Jai Hind, sir. Mukesh, sir, please. Yes, uh, we, we really are uh, uh, owing a great thanks uh, to our chief guest. We really are enlightened by your thought uh, in this direction, sir. Thank you again from the bottom of our, uh, our heart to spare your precious time uh, for the beginning of this work. Thank you very much. We really will be uh, very happy to... So we are lucky that we had you in this particular uh, inaugural program. And seriously, your uh, thoughts, your views definitely will uh, help this young India to absorb the knowledge which we are going to depart through this particular workshop. And we wish that they will exhibit a great character in coming days so that we'll build a strong nation. Thank you very much, sir, being a chief guest in our workshop. Thank you very much. Jain, sir. So now I would like to invite Dr. Ankush Minth uh, to start our first day session on introduction of machine learning. Mr. Ankush Main, please take the lead for the session. Thank you very much. Thanks, Amit, sir. So please provide the presentation. Uh, yeah. Right to Just give me a minute. Uh, there is some technical glitch. Uh, no problem, sir. No problem. Uh, uh, so, Dr. Mukesh is just giving uh, within a second, uh, he will uh, like. Uh, he is rejoining uh, the meeting due to uh, connection drop. So he's having the right right now. So he will give that. Yeah, he's here only. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ankuji, I am making you the presenter. Uh, now you are in the center stage. Best wishes. And uh, I hope that participants are going to enjoy your talks. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks. Sir. sir, can I take one minute? Um, yeah, yeah. Dear participants, ये बहुत अच्छा सुनहरा मौका हम लोगों के पास बहुत कुछ सीखने का जैसे कि प्रोफेसर नायर साहब ने भी बड़ा अच्छा एग्जांपल वॉच वाला दिया हम लोगों को कि किस तरीके से मशीन लर्निंग का बेस्ट यूसेज एक वॉच में हो रहा है और कमिंग डेज में आप लोगों ने इंडिया इस नेशन ऑफ यूथ्स और ये यूथ बहुत कुछ अच्छा कर और हम चाहेंगे कि आप लोग अपने पैशन के साथ इस पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम को अटेंड करें, अपने नॉलेज को अपग्रेड करें और हमारे पास जो हमारे स्पीकर्स हैं एकेडमिया से हैं और एस वेल इंडस्ट्री से हैं मिक्स मैच है और उनके पास बहुत ही अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस है तो आप लोगों को बहुत ही ऑनेस्ट एफर्ट्स देने होंगे जो भी काम वो आपको डेली देंगे उसको आपको करना होगा एक फोर्टी फाइव की जर्नी है एक महीने की जर्नी है Seriously, you can transform yourself in a Python and machine learning uh, uh, professional. And seriously, जो भी आप efforts देंगे, वो कुछ ना कुछ आपकी जिंदगी में तब्दीली लेके आएंगे। हम हमेशा एक चीज में विश्वास रखते हैं, जितने भी मेरे दोस्त हैं, या तो हम सफल होते हैं, या फिर हम सीखते हैं, पर कोशिश हमेशा करते हैं। So दोस्तों, आप लोगों से request है, आपने अपनी तरफ से best honest एफर्ट्स देने हैं ताकि आप मैक्सिमम से मैक्सिमम अर्न कर सकें और मार्केट से मार्केट में बेस्ट रिस्पेक्ट भी अर्न कर सकें जितना आप अच्छा लर्न करेंगे उतना ही अच्छा आप मार्केट में एग्जीबिट कर पाएंगे सो डॉक्टर अंकुश रिक्वेस्ट है साहब आपसे प्लीज नाउ नाउ सेशन इज टू टू यू सर प्लीज मैनेज बेस्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच सर एंड थैंक यू मुकेश सर आपने बहुत अच्छा अपॉर्चुनिटी हम सबको दिया थैंक यू वेरी मच